In today's day and age, reptile companies are constantly trying to improve their products to better not just the animal, but the keeper's experience with them. So we're back at it again with a wonderful company called AV Tuvin that has once again updated their tortoise house or tortoise enclosure. So hang tight because I'm going to show you guys how to put this together, what it has to offer you and your animal, and we're going to be using this one for a very specific, important reason. Hey friends, make sure that you're subscribed to our channel. It really helps us out. And also don't forget to click the bell icon for notifications so you get notified every time we post a video. If you're a fan of reptiles and especially love turtles and tortoises and want to help us out here at Garden State Tortoise, please consider becoming a patron today by joining our Patreon. The link is always in the description of these videos or you can just go to patreon.com and search Garden State Tortoise. Now, when I said we were gonna be using this enclosure for a specific reason, that specific reason is quarantine. And we're gonna be quarantining this brand new Greek tortoise that we just got. This Greek tortoise is actually not a tortoise that occurs in Greece at all. This is the Moroccan tortoise, which is a subspecies of the commonly known Greek tortoise. And his scientific name is Testudo Graeca maracensis. Not very common. In fact, this is a pretty rare tortoise over here in the United States. But this tortoise's story started all the way over in Morocco when somebody purchased him in a Moroccan market and then somehow got him back to the United States. Unfortunately, there was another tortoise along with him that was purchased and brought over to the United States that did not live and this animal's life almost ended as well. This is not a very easy species to keep and if you don't know its specific requirements, they can fail quickly. Well, the person that gave us this tortoise ended up getting it just in time and brought it back to health. It has a nice solid shell now, beautiful growth, normal coloration for the subspecies. And really the only thing that I see going on with it is that it does have some remnants of having beak rot at one point, but that has healed. However, that does not mean that this tortoise is not carrying something or something could be coming out in it as far as an illness goes. So we don't wanna put this with any of our other Moroccan tortoises. What we need to do is quarantine him. And that's where AV Tuvin comes into play this time. Got all my parts here and the instructions. Now, AV Tubin is a wooden pet house company and they make really interesting designs that are beautiful. And fun little fact about their history, the founder's daughter had a pet rabbit and she couldn't find a suitable enclosure for the rabbit or rabbit hutch rather. And so the founder built one. And one of the things I absolutely love about this company is they're always willing to improve. In fact, they took one of my suggestions. If you've seen other videos that we've done, this is one of several houses for tortoises that we've built from their company. They actually made a modification based on my suggestion when it came to how to hang the lighting over the animal because of course with reptiles, lighting is very important. Well, they've made another modification here and now this tortoise house is situated on legs. And now, as I've shown you in the other videos we've done on this exact unit, it's perfect for starting off juvenile tortoises, not hatchlings, but tortoises that have put a little bit of size on. Uh, and it can also house something like a little Egyptian tortoise for most of, if not all of its life. But this time, we're gonna be using this to quarantine an animal. And that's because quarantine is extremely important, as I've already said, and it needs to be a very controlled, smaller environment so you can keep an eye on the animal before you decide, okay, this animal's in the clear, it can go in with another group of animals or into a more expansive enclosure where you don't have to keep such a close eye on it all the time. So let's assemble this thing so you can see how beautiful it is and also how effective it is. When it comes to assembly, it's so easy with AV tubing enclosures. You can see they've got wooden pegs right there and they just fit right into place. And you just install the screws from that point on and it goes perfectly into place. Right off the bat, one of the really cool features of the AV tube and tortoise house is the plastic tray at the bottom, which protects the unit and whatever it's on top of 
from moisture. Now, of course, tortoises, you don't want to keep overly wet, but there is still going to be some moisture in the substrate and they do defecate and urinate. So um, this really helps protect it. And it's a, it's a step above some of the other similar tortoise houses that don't offer this feature. See how easy that was? That's the basis for this box. And now we can flip it over and add some more features to it. I'm gonna peel off the plastic here. It's another really awesome feature is the window on both the front and this side. So you get to view the animals without disturbing them too much. The hinges for both the hide area and the screen area that go on top of this enclosure are already included on the top pieces. So all you have to do is line it up and screw them into place. So these latches are nice and easy to install. You basically decide where you want them, clip right into place, and that's great if you have a cat that might be trying to get into this, um, or for really any reason. It's just added security for the animal inside. So this is one of the improvements they made to this tortoise house based on my suggestion. So initially, when this box came out, it didn't have a movable metal light holder like this. It had a fixed one, and it actually blocked the lid from being opened all the way. So uh, they went ahead and modified it, and uh, the specifications that I gave them, they followed. So it's pretty awesome. Now you get a metal lamp holder that's adjustable, and it moves out of the way so that when you have to open up the enclosure, you're not knocking into anything. Now, we're gonna go ahead and attach the legs. And this is the newest modification that they've made. Now this can sit on legs, so you don't have to reach up high if you have it up high, or bend all the way down, maybe you got a bad back. This will be at a nice, easily accessible level so you can work with the animals in there. And again, if it's an animal that you're gonna be quarantining, you really wanna be able to easily get to it and assess its health on a daily basis. If you're a zoo, or a rescue, or a veterinary office, or you have a facility like ours that does act as a rescue, you can put a whole line of these and then work with the animals individually. Um, of course, always sanitize in between handling the animals, handle healthy animals first, sick animals last. It's a nice, compact, simple unit, which is perfect for quarantine. Another thing about AV tube and enclosures, although they are sturdy, they are very lightweight. So before you start decorating this thing, it is very easy to move it around to where you really want it to be. So here we are. Here's your basic box with your screen lid and also your hide lid. You've got your metal lamp holder and of course these wonderful new legs that put the unit at a really nice level so you can easily work with the animal. Uh, I'm really, really happy that they put legs on this thing. It's really, really awesome. Uh, I wish I could get some legs for the other units I have because it would be great to put a bunch of them in a line. And this way, this could be like your quarantine room or quarantine section. And each animal will be fully separated from the other. There's no way that they can access each other. And they will be properly contained and uh, create a safe environment for you to assess their health on a regular basis. So enough about that. What we need to do is decorate this thing, but we're gonna do it appropriately for a quarantine situation, which means we're going super simple, super basic. Tortoises need heat. And in the case of the tortoise going in here, he definitely needs it pretty warm. This is a Moroccan tortoise, which means it comes from Morocco. But what we're gonna do is simply fit this with 150 watt basking light. Turn it on 
and the animal will have a great area to bask and keep itself at optimal temperature. We're not gonna go nuts with UVB because this tortoise had been spending time outdoors under the natural sun, and once he's out of quarantine, that's exactly where he's going to go. So as I've said in other videos, if your tortoises are spending nearly half the year outdoors under the natural sun, there is no reason why you should give them UVB when they're indoors for the other half. So he's just getting some nice bright light with heat, and that is it. Substrate goes next, and there's a little bit of a debate on what should be offered to a tortoise in quarantine period. Some people like to go really simple, like newspaper or paper towels. A big part of a tortoise staying stress-free is being on a naturalistic substrate. So as long as it's new stuff and it's clean stuff, it's okay to put the tortoise on that. And what I'm gonna use will also allow you to watch the tortoise's feces, which can be an indicator of its overall health. If they're runny and really foul smelling, you might have an internal issue going on there. Or if they're really nice and firm, that could be your first indicator that, hey, this tortoise is seems to be feeling pretty well. So we're gonna use some simple Reptisoil by Zoomed, and we're also going to use just a mix of play sand and dry sphagnum moss. This is an arid dwelling tortoise species, so we're gonna stay on the drier end of things for him, but this will work for a wide variety of tortoise species, even something like a red foot tortoise, and you can always just add your own moisture to it by putting some water in. Another component to the overall substrate of the enclosure, you want your tortoise to feel secure. So even though it has this covered area that it can enter in the AV2 even tortoise house, adding something like Timothy hay or chopped straw on this side really allows the tortoise to find a nice dark area where he can feel secure and away from anything that might stress him out. Because remember, stress is the leading cause of death in any reptile or amphibian species. And stress can bring on other health issues. So by keeping the animal safe, secure, and allowing it to do what it wants when it feels the need to, you are going to naturally de-stress the animal, eliminate stress almost entirely, hopefully entirely, and you'll really be able to assess the animal's health. So there's our dark hide area, nice and soft. Close that up. And now we're just gonna add two more things to this side, and that's literally it. Our last two pieces of the puzzle, one, just a simple flagstone or slate rock that's gonna go right here so that it can absorb all the heat from the heat lamp. These tortoises really need to feel warm, but all heat needs to come from above. You don't use heat pads or heat rocks with tortoises. What you do is kind of almost create your own heat rock by allowing the basking light to be just above it. The rock will absorb that heat and retain it, and then the animal can crawl on top of it and then reach optimal body temperature as it would in nature. And then the other thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna use a simple deli lid container for food. No reason to go fancy. These can be thrown out and reused or easily cleaned because we wanna keep this animal in as clean as an environment as possible. So you could just go ahead and put that really anywhere, maybe in a corner, and that's where his food will go. But you might be wondering, why on earth am I not using a water dish? Well, that's not because this animal doesn't require water, even though it's an arid dwelling species from Morocco, water is absolutely crucial to its ultimate survival and health. But in a situation like this, water dishes get dirty so quickly, especially with tortoises, because they love to defecate in them daily. By keeping that out, you're creating a nice, clean environment, but it's also adding some responsibility because you have to remember to soak the tortoise regularly. For something like a Moroccan tortoise or other Greek tortoise subspecies, I would recommend soaking them three to four times a week while they're in quarantine. Just shallow, lukewarm water for 15 to 20 minutes, and then you put the animal back in its environment. By doing that, you're keeping it really sanitary so that the animal doesn't keep going back and forth from a dirty water bowl, and if it does have something like parasites or an infection, it's not constantly re-ingesting that. Now a healthy tortoise should not be soaked regularly because what that can actually do is force the bowels and it has been known to cause prolapses particularly in male tortoises. Doesn't happen all the time. I'm sure plenty of you out there have success soaking them but it's something we don't opt to do here. We like to allow them to have access to water naturally in the form of a water dish or a basin or a mini pond whatever it is we allow them to do it on their own. So that's why we opt to not soak them but for quarantine I always like to opt to soak the animal and then discard that water right away rather than keeping something that can really fester inside it. 
So here he is, he's ready for his quarantine setup, where he will stay for probably a few months. And that's because with tortoises, sometimes these unfortunate diseases or viral infections or parasites can present themselves much later on. They can really fool you and make you think that they're healthy. And that's what he's doing right now. He really looks great. But we wanna be 100% sure because we don't want him to infect any of our other animals when he's ready to go into that group. So we're gonna put him in here. We're gonna let him start getting used to it. You know, he's been through a lot from Morocco to the United States, two different homes before coming here. But I have to say, he looks awesome and he has a healthy weight. And some of the things that I'm gonna be looking out for are of course discharges from the nose, mouth or eyes, puffy eyes, any kind of foul smell coming from anywhere on him. Uh, I wanna see well-formed feces. I don't want him to have the runs and I wanna watch his behavior. He should be coming out when the lights come on in the morning and basking and exploring. He should be eating well. He should be going back into his hide at the peak of the day or at night and really just being a normal tortoise. Remember, tortoises are pretty active when the temperatures and conditions are ideal. So they're supposed to walk around with a tall march and graze. So that's another thing I'm gonna be looking out for him. I wanna make sure that he can walk tall and proud. He should be able to lift his body off the ground effortlessly. If he starts dragging himself, that means we definitely have an internal issue. And those are just some of the things that you should always be looking out for with your animals, whether you keep them inside, outside, if they're in quarantine or out of quarantine, you're never done being a watchful eye on them. You are their guardian. Now ready, buddy? Let's get you in here. Bravo AV2VIN, once again, you have made a fine product. And with its legs, the tortoise house is really a functioning and also aesthetically pleasing unit that really can go well in any room. I highly recommend these for juvenile tortoises or for quarantine or for temporary housing. Um, again, they're smaller, but you can marry two of them together and there are instructions to do so. So if you decide to buy two of these, you can put them together and you'll have six feet of room for these animals, actually a little more than that. And again, I love that AV Tuvin is always willing to take suggestions and that they're willing to improve their units to make the animals' lives better first and foremost. So I highly recommend this unit. And if you wanna pick one up, make sure that you use our affiliate link in the description of this video so you get a discount. And also, if you wanna get caught up on the other builds that we've done with AV Tuvin, check out this video next.